Hey folks, final thoughts time for Seas of Havoc, but please keep in mind that this is a paid preview. Okay, with that out of the way, let's talk about it, because as soon as I saw Seas of Havoc, I knew I had to play it. It just ticks so many boxes for me. I love deck builders, but on top of that, I really like deck builders with a purpose. You know, as much as I love pure deck builders, like Star Realms, one of my favorite games of all time, but I like it when you're not just getting cards to get more cards. I like it when you get these cards that do something. And so this is exactly that. And on top of that, it's a deck builder worker placement, which is a hybridization that we have seen works really well. I mean, with Lost Ruins of Arnok and Dune Imperium, we've seen some great examples of this. And this, I think, is doing those uh, games proud because it is taking that worker placement deck builder mechanic, or that, that combination that I think works really well, and adding another layer onto it. So you've got the, the worker placement, the deck building, and this skirmish, this uh, uh, positional tactical skirmish game as well. So you have uh, all of these things together, and I think that they work really well, but I do want to kind of talk about each one in turn, because if you are looking to find something that is a great example of just one of those games, this doesn't fully do that. I mean, it's it's got some good deck building, it's got some good worker placement, it's got some good skirmish combat. It's not that any one of them shines, it's the combination of all of them that really makes it work. Um, so I'll, as far as like the deck building, I'll start with that because that's the thing I'm most, uh, most knowledgeable about. Um, like I said, favorite game, uh, favorite deck builder anyway, Star Realms. Uh, this has some similarities to that, but it also, you know, twists it in some unique ways. Um, now, it's a deck builder. You're going to buy some cards and stuff, but you can't just buy cards. That's not your only turn. It is threaded in with the worker placement. So one of your, you have to send one of your workers to a card in order to buy it, but you don't buy it right away. Instead, you're reserving it, which is kind of cool because it lets you block the card so that other players don't get it. Even if you don't want the card, you can still block it off. And then you don't need to pay for it if you don't want it. Uh, so that's that's an interesting twist to it. I also really like the synergies. They're, each of these cards synergizes not with other cards, but with these pirate flags that are on the top of the board, which you can grab, again, as part of the worker placement phase. And that, I think, is a cool mechanic. It, it, help, it rewards you from picking these flags up that have their own cool ability, and on top of that, specializing in certain things, but it also means that other players see you specializing, so maybe they'll try to block you from getting those flags. So then maybe instead of specializing, you want to uh, broaden things out so that you can always get a little bit extra out of the cards that you, that you buy. So a lot of different avenues, a lot of different choices you can make, and each one of them feels pretty good. Uh, so, so I really like that. Now, I will say, though, again, if we're comparing it to, uh, to Star Realms, um, or really any deck builder, any like pure deck builder, that the cards that you buy, none of them feel like amazingly powered. None of them are, are you know, blow the other uh, players out of the water. Because um, sometimes, you know, you have that in deck builders where you see something that costs it's really expensive and you think, okay, if I can just get that one, if I can get that before anybody else, then I'm going to be on easy street. And if they can't, you know, block me or if they can't counter it pretty soon, uh, I'll, I'll take this away. There's nothing really like that. All of these cards are pretty evenly balanced. I think that's both good and bad. Obviously, it's great for this game. It's exactly what this game needs. Because if someone has a card that's just machine gun, uh, destroy other ship or something like that, that's, that's not going to be great. But... It also means that you don't ever have those those moments of like, ah, ha, 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 yes. Whenever you buy a card, it's like, okay, good. I think this is going to help me. And so you don't have those like really high highs uh, with that, but you don't have the low lows either. So I think overall that makes the, the experience much more balanced. And like I said, it feeds into the skirmish part of the game. Everything in this game really does connect well to another part of it. Now, I was playing a two-player game in the run-through, and uh, when you're playing a two-player game, that means every player controls two ships. And that is, I think, a cool way to play it. I, I do think the game works a little bit better at, like, four players. It might make the game go a little bit longer, and this game can run a little longer than you expect. But, uh, but that's because, you know, there's all these, like, tactical decisions, and they want to give you enough time to you know, get the cards that you want and really shape your deck into, uh, you know, the the... That, that like lean, mean fighting machine deck of cards that it can get to if you if you you know work towards that. So 
But, but the reason I think it'll work better with four is because you have a little bit less to worry about. You know, it's easier to remember that this is my ship and uh, you don't have to, to like keep multiple positions in mind because it's already a little bit difficult to keep positioning in mind when you realize that this map, it wraps around. So, uh, so I think it's probably best at like four. Four seems like a, a, a good kind of sweet spot for me. Um, now, one thing I will say, I love the asymmetry in this game. There's, uh, you, when you start, you have different captains and each of the captains has a special ability of their own and two cards that you put in your starting deck. But on top of that, you have a different ship. The ship has a completely different starting deck and two upgrades that you can do throughout the game. So that really feels, it really feels different. And the, the manual provides you with suggested pairings, but you, once you've like played that and once you're comfortable with the game, you can mix and match however you want. And it works great. Uh, I definitely think some pairings work better than others, but I have really enjoyed like checking these uh, these different pairings out. I also like the card art. I think the, the artwork on this game, I think it looks really good. Um, so about like trying uh, trying these cards, trying these, you know, different combinations out. It's really cool. I will say the shipwrecks feel a little bit swingy to me. It's the only part of it that feels a little unbalanced because sometimes these get put out in random spaces and sometimes it just gets put directly in front of another ship. And if that ship was already winning, you know, that doesn't feel great. Um, so sometimes that is a little disappointing, but it's random. So, you know, it's just as likely to go in front of the person who's uh, who needs it as opposed to the person who doesn't or to just be out in the middle of nowhere. And that will, I will say that that makes it uh, a little bit Maybe it makes it a little bit more balanced when you're playing two players because you control two ships. They can be in different parts of the map, to say. Um, but yeah, that's that's the only thing that feels a little odd. Uh, but other than that, I, I'm kind of into it. You know, they've the, got the the skirmish combat, which is fast and fun. Uh, the deck building, um, it 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 really supports that. I would say that this isn't. I I, I wouldn't say that this is a deck builder. It has deck building in it, but this to me is primarily a skirmish combat uh, game with deck building worker placement added into that. So if that's something that you're looking for, absolutely check out Seas of Havoc, especially if you like the pirate theme or if you are looking for something that has some good asymmetry. Not too much, this isn't like root or anything, but I love that the starting decks, which are in deck builders, usually exactly the same. I love that they're different. I love that there's so much personality in the different captains and the different ships. Uh, and the combos, it, it really changes the game every time you play. So if all that sounds interesting, definitely check out Seas of Havoc uh, on Kickstarter. Um, and thank you all so much for watching. I will see you folks next time. Bye-bye.